Hello YouTube. How y'all doing? Well, we're looking at <clears throat> my radio. My ham radio. And I just happened to come across a very strange looking anomaly on my scope. It's quite large too, I might add. And As you can see, well, you can't see the frequency changing. It goes goes all the way to this. It goes all the way to there. As you can see it going up and down. See it? That's a signal fluctuating and that's going across a very large spectrum of the band, meaning the frequency. It's going from uh, 956 nine, to about 9613.22 and I'm just showing it to you okay that's really all I'm doing is showing it to you but it gives us back to this one little point it really does you know there's been a lot of drama going on an awful lot of drama and I understand that I'm part of it and I don't like it never have it's taken away from the act a hand meaning the act of 1871 and basically what I want to say is this. Everything that's been happening as far as Dutch channels went down and then my video went down and now Dutch's video went down that he made in response to everything that's happened. No one's trying to make anyone special or not special. I made a video a while ago, earlier, a few minutes ago, and I listened to it again, and I may put it up and I may not. I don't like to sound that way. I really don't. But there's quite a few people out here on YouTube that watches my videos, watches SOs, R2s, Dutch Sense, and a few other people as well but people let me explain something to y'all and I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings but I'm trying to help y'all figure this out along with me there is a certain few that subscribe to him certain few subscribe to Dutch there's a certain few subscribed to me that is really making the matter worse not better mainly just to screw people's brains up to work them over and 
try to make them do what they want them to do. And that's really wrong, folks. It really is. There was a report come out today on SO's channel that, uh, that Dutch, and had, Dutch Sense had been shot or killed. You know, that's a game that that right there you know, some people think that's funny and that's, you know, it's a game. But I'm going to be quite honest with you. That ain't a fucking game. It ain't a game at all. Shit like that does happen every day. It really does. Over the damnedest thing sometimes. Sometimes it's over money. Some of it's arguing about politics or religion. And it doesn't matter. It's basically what this country was formed for to practice our own religion. And the country got broke after a couple of wars, got us in debt way before any of us out here were born. And I made a deal pretty much with the devil. They didn't have the technology that we got today. They didn't find out the truth. And now they're hiding the truth as hard as they can. And there's a lot of help out there to make sure that some of us don't find the truth. It's done intentionally. And it's called propaganda. But I'm going to be quite honest with you people. There's enough propaganda out there. We don't need to help make more. We don't need to create a lie to create a view. We don't need to create conflict to make a story bigger than what it really is. We don't need to do those things. We really don't. I'm very passionate about my country. And I want my children to be as free as I am at their age, at my age, not theirs. I want them to enjoy it and be able to pass that same freedom down to their children. And I think you do too. Or at least I hope you do. Some of you out there think the New World Order is going to be a great thing. Really? Don't you see what's happening to you right now? All your freedoms and your rights are being taken away. Some of you say having guns is a bad thing. Well, if you don't have a gun, do you think that's going to get rid of the crook's gun? No, it ain't. The crook's always going to have a gun. The thief is always going to have a gun. Even if he has to steal it from a cop's house when the cop ain't home breaks in and steals his locker or whatever he may have. It's a gun cabinet. Still a gun. They're always going to have that gun around. And you know, we get in here and we crucify somebody because they said something you don't agree with. Really? I've turned off my comments to be approved. I've done that for two reasons. Number one, I was tired of the robot comments. And two, I was tired of 
having to read multiple comments of damaging or it doesn't matter not really all I can tell y'all is this and I mean this from the bottom of my heart we're a country of people that's losing our freedoms and we're a country of a lot of different countries all rolled up into one and most immigrants to come to our country that have children here need to learn our rules and our laws the way they're originally written no disrespect to anyone but if we want our freedom and we don't want the new world order to take over and I mean this if we don't start looking into the act of 1871 and start pushing the act and teaching people the history of our country and come up with a way to abolish that and fix our country back to the original way it was designed and then even more so dig into that constitution of the original and do some real research in it and let's fix it too so no one in this country ever has to go through the bickering the arguing, disgracefulness, the hatefulness, and the propaganda that we've had to go through since I've been on YouTube, and the things that have changed, and the rules and the laws to whomever it may concern to change. So, with that, folks. The only thing I can really say is that we were once a free country and a very powerful country. And with great power comes great responsibility. And that goes for big YouTube channels. With great power comes great responsibility and you have to use it wisely and content and be truthful because with the great power that you have you're more than likely going to lead someone down that wrong path and hurt them no matter who it may be and that's just damn right wrong so much love to y'all y'all have a great day and y'all have a blessed day hopefully